So again, I want to welcome you all to the Minds Up radio show, The Enlightened One. Uh, again, I am your host, Takiya Diamond, and I am so excited to be doing this today. It is 11-11. You guys know this is the day for manifestation. This is the day to forget the past, completely focus forward. Do not worry about where you came from or what you've been through. Focus only on where you're at and where you are going, because this is the time for breakthroughs. This is the time for empowerment. This is the time for the amazing you, the amazing you to stand up, step up and be completely counted because you are in fact so amazing. <laughs> so what I decided to do again, please make sure you mute yourself so I don't hear any background um, and stuff going on in the back. Please make sure you mute yourself. Um, I want to say that if you are on this call, you are not here in error. This meeting, this whole movement that we're all doing is divinely orchestrated because it is time for each and every one of us to step into our power. And it is time for each and every one of us to teach others how to do that, how to step in their power and how to become the most empowering them possible. What has happened is many people are feeling the shift. They know that something different is happening, but they're not knowing. They're not really having clarity and understanding on the next step that they need to take in order to break free, break through, and help more people. And this is the reason why I chose you. <laughs> and this is the reason why if you're just a listener, the reason you're on this call is because I can guarantee you I am, I am airing today from 11 to 11. Mm -hmm. Somebody throughout this process is going to be able to help you in whatever it is that, that you're trying to accomplish, whatever it is that you need to break free from so that you can download new information, that new you, that fifth dimensional version of yourself is going to be empowered, is going to come through today. Today, not tomorrow today. So I ask that you be open to receive the information and the help that is coming to you right now from everyone. So today I have the pleasure of interviewing the beautiful Nicole Chow. And I hope I'm saying your last name right. Am I saying your last name right? <laughs> It's true. That's okay. A true. lot of people think it's child. That's okay. No worries. Well, Nicole is an energy shift healer and life coach. And you know what is so crazy? Sometimes we have these amazing gifts and we don't even know what to call them. <laughs> and we're like, oh my God, is that what I am? I remember my coach, uh, Dana, she had to tell me that I was a mindset life coach. I didn't know what kind of life coach I was. I just was like, uh, I don't know. I'm a life coach and I help people change their way of thinking. She was like, okay, so you're not just a life coach. You're a mindset life coach. You shift the thinking and the dealings with the mind from now on that is your title and I took it on and I can tell you one thing things have changed since I took ownership of the true title of what it is that I do and my path to help people and so I had that experience with Nicole <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. Yes. And I, I, I'm just so grateful and thankful to have you here. Nicole's coaching methods are geared to help you get out of your own way. And how many of us are completely guilty for being in our own way? The self-sabotaging thoughts, the voices, the everything that is not of our true essence and who we are happens to be the voice that most of us tend to listen to. So Nicole is here today to help you eliminate those thoughts, help you figure out what are they, how they're hurting you, and how to shift them so you can move into a new direction, a powerful direction. That powerful direction is called your purpose. So uh, oh my God, I just don't even know where to start. You know, she helps you remove these sabotaging stories and beliefs that you consistently tell yourself on a constant basis that keep you blocked and keeping you from seeing that your life filled with joy, your life filled with love, your life filled with great health, your life filled with happiness. 
it wealth and wealth and wealth it's all there but if we're not vibrationally aligned up to where those things are honey we can wave it goodbye it will never be able to come through so nicole is here today to help you guys shine through and bring out that beacon of light that you really really are and she's going to be leave, leading you guys on the right track today she's gonna do uh, a nice little session with you guys to give you an example of her work and if Nicole's work resonates with you, please, please, please contact her after this call today. Set up a discovery call session with her so that you guys can, you know, meet and we talk about what it is that you want, you know, see if it works for you. And if it works for you, boom, boom, pow, you know what I mean? On their way into this, 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 I don't know, just whatever it is that you choose to become. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so you will definitely be transformed and a new life will be available to begin for you. So everybody, welcome Nicole Chu. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Takia. Thank you for hiring me. <laughs> I am wonderful, honey. I am feeling fabulous. I'm looking fabulous. You see my new dress? My best friend gave me this dress. It's just too sexy, honey. <laughs> Or oh, it can never be too sexy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel completely awesome. So please tell me, tell us, share with us, who is Nicole Chu? Yeah, sure. I will go a little bit about how I started uh, my journey. Um, a few years ago, I uh, I stumbled upon a lecture, and that's when I started to learn about spirituality and I noticed that I was very intuitive. So I started to learn about all that. And earlier this year, I uh, started taking personal development classes because I was curious to know what I really wanted to do. And um, I met a friend, um, she, her name is Joan Hay, and she is a life coach. And I believe you have met her as well at our um, mastermind event this summer. Right. And um, yeah, so she told me about the company she was working at, and it sounded really amazing. And I had a session with her, and I was like, oh, wow, I never, you know, like, I walk around thinking that, you know, I've learned a lot about spirituality and good, right? That's what I was thinking. And then after a session with her, I was like, oh my gosh, I have all these things that actually is blocking me for what I want and desire in my life. And I can't carry that energy with me because it doesn't serve me and it doesn't help me to move on to the next thing in my life. So um, she invited me to the retreat they had back in April this year, and I literally decided two weeks before <laughs> um, the event that I was going. It was a very impulse last minute decision, and um, and I went there, and the people were very friendly, and it was um, it was really nice. It was pretty amazing experience. Someone else gave me a session. And as a result of the retreat, I decided to um, to really take their certification class okay. to become a certified coach. So, um, yeah, so that's how I stumbled upon the finding my way to say, okay, this is how I can actually help people and serve and uh, remove some blocks because obviously I had my own blocks that needed to be moved and um, it's something we work on every day it's not magic where it will disappear um, you know after one try sometimes it takes uh, quite some time to do that and uh, and I think it's a very uh, very cool tool it's not like magic but it's really you feel really relief afterwards and um, and also you have to do hard work to um, you know, work towards your goals and dreams. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it definitely takes some work to um, 
consistently try to stay in the right path. You know, um, there's a lot of different things that will come at us in the midst of this journey. You know, when you're shifting into this other being to be that beacon of light to help others, um, the challenges will come and they'll come hard, like boom, boom. And you're like, wait, wait, wait. So let me ask, <laughs> how, how does Nicole handle daily challenges? Like when, even though like you're a coach and you know what to do to help other people, what do you find is the easiest way for you to handle things when those challenges come upon you? Um, yeah, it's interesting because I actually had to deal with that like the last two days. Um, it's about how you handle rejections, right? Mm. So um, I think it's like rejection or challenge. They're all the same. I think they're in the similar category. And um, at first, you know, obviously it wasn't easy to hear. And you really have to let your emotional side of you to just pass on and say, okay, I'm going to stay focused. And the emotional side of me is feeling this way. But, you know, am I on my right path? Or how does that, how do I, you know, I think it's how I, uh, how you react when you re, re, when you uh, encounter those challenge or rejection. Because, you know, when you look at so many successful people, they... They they were faced with so many rejections at one point in their life. I don't think any successful person got a yes like on the, their first try. And I think you have to stay true to yourself and know what you know your end game is, what your goals are, and it's how you it's about how you get up and tell yourself I I do positive affirmations. I wake up thinking positive you know, do what makes you feel good to get back on track because we often have to face that and because we have no control over a lot of things, although we like to think we are. Yes. <laughs> but a lot of things, it's, you know, it's out of our control. I think you have to have that belief that, you know, it really happened for a reason and it probably worked out for the better because there is something else better coming your way. So I think it's it's almost like, shifting your mindset about okay this didn't work out for a reason but you know what I am not a less of a person just because I didn't get that right. um, it's about you know really just looking taking yourself out of the situation and look at it you know it's like if this was a friend who was going through it how, how, how would you say that to that person and how would you you know help them to really you know put things into perspective so i think it takes a lot of practice don't you know i have done the emotional side of it where you know i cry if i need to and that's okay it's a sense of release and um and for some people that's not how they digest that's not how they um how they do that so it just really depends you have to find the way that works for you but i think a strong will mind it's very important to keep you through, um, to stay on your path. Yes, that is so true. I, and I'm so happy that you, that you share that. Um, I like the word that you said when you stated um, rejection. You know, like, even though we, we consider it to be challenges, but no matter what, in some way, it's kind of like a form of rejection. And I think people get more so attached to the story that appears to be happening as opposed to acceptance like you said and just saying that okay this is this is what happened and um at the end of the day you really don't have much control over <laughs> something that already took place anyway so to allow yourself to fall into that deep zone of depression or you know uncertainty or feeling like you're just down and now and nothing's going to change. Those are the things that really sabotage you. You know, those are the things that ruin everything because most of the times when we're facing adversity, it's to teach us something. And if we can just learn to accept the lesson and take the lesson as our blessing, we can very easily just let it go and move forth. Emotions. Oh my God. 
I did a whole video on emotions <laughs> before. And, and, and one of the things that I discussed in that, in that video was it's like taking a rubber band, you know, for everything that you hold back, you take this rubber band and it's going back and back and back and back. Eventually, when you let it go, it's going to pop and boom, it's going to explode or it's going to, you're going to keep holding it in, but back, 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 back. And then it's going to pop back onto you because it's going to pop out completely, you know? So it is very, very important that we monitor the feelings that we're feeling and understand that again, emotion is just a feeling. You can choose to change that feeling at any given time, you know? And, um, I love that. Thank you. Thank you very much for bringing that up. So tell us about your tribe. Who is your client avatar? Who are the people that you are attracting? Who are the people that you wish to serve? So um, uh, I actually have gone through like, you know, career transitions, things like that. And um, I think I attract a lot of I like to work with people who are actually, you know, going through transitions as well to transform their lives, to transform the way they're thinking, to really just get out, really just um, get out of their comfort zone and try something new, um, things to that extent. Because, um, you know, I, I find that sometimes people are, always stay in their comfort zone and they're not happy and they're not willing to take the risk or there's other people who recognize that and might want to experiment something yeah. so um i would love to work with someone who's open-minded and you know i think coaching my coaching is really just kind of help you to unblock and also at the same time we can work on it's uh like a body system almost if you think about it to really set up goals for yourself how if there are anything that you want to work on and you set a goal for yourself for every week and i'm your accountable body so you set up a time and you tell me that you are checking with me certain time of the week and you tell me if you reach your goal or not. Because sometimes I think you need somebody to kind of hold your hand in the process in the very beginning. But the process is to train you to do that for yourself mm. in your life every day. And I am just kind of holding your hand in the, pro in the beginning. But I expect you to become independent and uh you know and obviously i'm still here if you need to come back for a refresher or anything but um the idea is to have you to be competent to do that on your own well i can say that nicole helped me uh, nicole and i i had the opportunity of working with nicole and we discovered some very hidden beliefs that I had around what was it money we had we had some yeah. beliefs about money and um, since then I've become even more mindful of my beliefs when it comes to money. And I don't really think that at the time I noticed that I had these beliefs because I don't think that it was a strong belief. It, was, it wasn't it was something that was clearly evident. It was more so something that was kind of buried that I hadn't even really noticed that that would even play a part in me being blocked, you know? Um, just, just not really sure of, you know, I don't want to go in too far because I know I'm going to have you do your, do a session with one of our callers. So I don't want to tell the process. <laughs> but, I, but I will say that um, Nicole as assisted me. And, you know, I, 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 I found some, some really wonderful things out about myself where I was blocked, you know. And um, thank you. Thank you for, for helping me with that. Because since then, I, I have gained even more confidence to be able to not be afraid of asking 
for for what I deserve to no longer implement on somebody else's pockets what I think that I'm afraid like oh this person probably can't afford this so I don't want to charge XYZ but in in all honesty th those are my beliefs within myself in some way uh, on how I may have been handling things you know so um, you know thank you thank you so much for helping me get through that <laughs> oh anytime yeah. I'm glad I can help Yes, and I most definitely am going to, um, you know, link back with you so we can check in and, and see what's going on and see how that's moving forward. So if we see anything else that might have come up because that one came up, you know how sometimes when you move the blocks, other ones that are surfacing around decide to pop up. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, she's over this. We can't use this one anymore on her. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yes, I know what you mean, but you got to train your, I, I feel like it's, okay, it's like, I will use this example as a metaphor, okay. like, it's like going your, to the gym, right, if you want to look great, you go to the gym, you train your muscle, so you're really training your mind muscle to really not go there, <laughs> right, yeah. like, not, not to go there. I, I know sometimes, like you said, new things would come up, but as you notice them, you got to you know, you gotta take them out. Like you gotta keep doing that because otherwise they will just take over and that's not something you want to uh, stay, right? So um, yeah, it's yeah. about just getting very present and conscious that what's really happening in, on your mind and, uh, and then just, you know, try to release it, just release it. Okay, so what would you what would you suggest? Like, um, let's say someone has a, a reoccurring thought pattern that comes up, even though they believed at that time that they cleared it. And you said you see how you said like you you have to kind of let go of it. You have to. Um, I can't remember the exact word that you just used, but um, something to the nature of like you have to release it. Like when it comes up, what what do you think is the best way for when something like that comes up? Like, is there something that you recommend that people tell themselves when it does surface so that they can eliminate it? Like, what would be your advice to someone who is thinking that everything is going well and all of a sudden this thought pattern comes up and says, but you don't have enough to, to do that. Like, you can, you can, in your mind, you feel like you can do it, but that pattern comes up and says, you don't have enough to do it. What, what do you suggest? for someone to be able to um, to break free of that pattern. Yeah, I think that's um, what you were saying. It's more like a self-sabotage almost. Like we have this, you know, like for example, if you, you know, you want to work on something and you'd be like, oh, I don't have X, Y, Z to make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, I think you can shift your mind. That's one thing I can think of that say, you say, oh, I don't have the resource, for example, as you know, I'm creating my website and I'm very thankful that you're helping me with that. And, you know, I can say, I don't know anything about the website. I don't want to do it. Right. Okay. But I know there's a need. I need to really share my work with others. Uh, okay. I've been telling my friends, however, that's not enough. I, I need to have uh, some sort of online presence and I can, you know, I told myself, I said, okay, I'm going to figure it out. Like, I know I don't know all the details yet right. and I don't really want to focus on the how because I know there's people who have done it. I know it will take some time and there will be some frustrations probably because I'm not tax savvy. However, it's doable. People have done it. And I think it's about shifting your mind. It's not knowing that you can, you will be able to do it so instead of saying I can't I can you got to change that conversation in your head and say yes I can I'm going to ask for help and mm -hmm. you showed up <laughs> and uh, you know like things like that I think it's uh, very you know you gotta be very pleasant to those thoughts and say you know like think the opposite of what's um, what's going in your head 
like you say, oh, I can't do this because of that. And say, okay, I forgive myself for having that thought. And mm. I am, I am showing gratitude. First, forgive yourself and then say, show gratitude that, oh, I am, for example, you know, we all have busy schedules, right? And there are so many, I know you and I, we both are like yes. really a junkie in that sense. <laughs> where we yes. want to be <laughs> everywhere and we want all the information and right. so cramming our schedules. So we get crazy. So we have to say, okay, I forgive myself for it you know, we got to do some self-care too. So we forgive right. ourselves for, you know, pushing so hard because sometimes you really need to take the hour or the day just to take care of yourself, whatever it is that um, self-care makes you feel good and say, okay, I am thankful for having so much resources, right. you know, that's in my life. And I really have to uh, pick and choose which ones works for me at the moment because I, I can't be everywhere at the same time. And realize what's your priority at the moment right. and um, take the one that really speaks to you right now. Mm, that's beautiful. That, that, that was awesome. And I think too often um, that's one thing that we as people do, well, uh, the human side of us, I don't I think a lot of people don't really understand the power of forgiveness. I don't think they really understand the importance that forgiveness plays in you being able to move forward, not in just forgiving other people, but more importantly in forgiving yourself, you know? Um there's those inner children, there's that there's that inner child within you. There's those inner children that are within you that are crying out, you know, it's, it's a way, mm -hmm. their way of saying like, no, you know, like I've been feeling this way for a long time. Like, don't take my fear away of me not having enough. Don't take my fear away from me of, you know, not being able to do this. And that the inner, the inner child has to be healed as well as the adult outer child. You know what I mean? That, that we have become, you know, so I don't forgiveness is more important than anything to really forgive yourself and sometimes talk to that inner child and say, you know, I know that you're used to doing things this way and it's safe. It's okay for us to do something different. You know, it's okay for us to go another way. So with that being said, I'm going to have one of our callers um, have you walk through um, something for them that will allow them to, um, experience you know what it's like to have a discovery session with you where they can actually be helped you know in some way um with with you know some of the services that you offer so uh i'm gonna give ca the caller calling from 2805820 can you hear us Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Who are we? Who do we have with us today? It is Javon. Hi, Javon. How are you today? Yeah, I'm great. How about yourself? I'm wonderful. So, thank you for calling in. It's a bit noisy behind you. I'm not sure if you can work like that. Is I know to go to a quieter place. I actually know because I am on the train, but I'm just listening. So. Oh, you're on the train. You're on the train. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me see if uh, hold on, see if I can get a hold of. Let me see. Uh... By the way, is this quieter now? <clears throat> is this what? Okay, is it quieter? Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we can rock like this. Yeah, stay, stay on the line. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I guess let me see the next person that I see that called in. Let's see. I think we have James, and James is also 
a healer. I mean, oh my God, James is like, I can't even, I can't even explain it. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, okay, maybe, maybe James can see, hold on a second, let me see. Cause I know you're you're like you're like phenomenal at this stuff already. I don't know, I don't know how much help you might need. <laughs> Listen. Oh, we have, it, but... Antonina, we have Antonina on the line. She's Hi. also coaching. Hi, Hi, my Antonina. beautiful queen. Hello, I'm just Hello. listening in and getting in the mood and seeing what you guys are up to. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So I do have I do have someone calling in. Right now, um, gee whiz, I know we only have about 10 more minutes to, to this is done for you. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see. How can I see on this thing? I'm still learning this thing. Okay. Um, let's see. Manage participants. Okay. Oh well, we we going we're gonna have to move on. I mean, I was trying to wait for uh, this other person to call in, but we have to move forward because we don't have that much time. So, James, you are my winning number. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm gonna unmute you, James. Okay, and I want you to share. I don't know. Do you feel like you have any underlying beliefs or anything like that, that, or any concerns that, um, hi, honey. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, awesome. That Nicole can actually assist you with. I mean, definitely. There is always a chance to improve ourselves. I love personal development. I take the oh, awesome. Kudos to that. I love it. <laughs> to, uh, you know, develop myself, become a better human being, right? Every day we get an opportunity to uh, learn more about ourselves, learn more about what other people can offer. So, yeah, I, I'm totally open to receiving and um, let, let it out. <laughs> let, it, let it at me. Um, <laughs> you said that, that. Okay, so tell your concern. Well, actually, Nicole, I guess you can do something with him to kind of uh, help him figure. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever your process is to figure out what it is that you can target for him to help him. I think we have about maybe eight minutes left until the show is finished. Okay, so um, in about like three or five, three to five sentences, like, can you explain to me, like, what's stopping you um, to having the life you want and love and um, or achieving your goals. So if you can tell me like three or five sentences something about that, and that can help me to pinpoint something. Okay, yeah, these kind of questions are always really tough for me because I'm never thinking about what's stopping me, you know. I'm, I'm thinking about what's propelling me forward. Um, but, you know, the probably the you want to go deep into it you know my core wound is shame you know a, a lot of times i'm coming forward with my idea or with myself no matter um how great i make myself look or um how awesome the opportunity is you know sometimes i just you know i i come forward and and I'm just, I feel, I feel that feeling of uh, a shame sometimes, shame for my, my upbringing. Um, maybe I'm, a, I'm ashamed of the, the people I associate with myself, my friends, and, uh, or, or, you know, it's a deep, dark secret of mine. And really, I shouldn't even be talking about it. I don't even like to talk about it. Um, and it's really one of those things that's not even real, but it's just kind of one of those like uh, illusions that, that come at you and haunt you. And it's just like, you know, why, why do I feel shame? But so, you know, what would, what would you say to that? Can you help me out with that? Yeah. So my coaching um, structure is where I, you know, we have a short conversation. I identify what's blocking you. And then we go through a briefing exercise where I, um, help to unblock you 
and then I fill you up with positive thoughts. Um, so with regard to that, um, I just have a very quick question. Do you um, ever feel like you don't deserve something because you feeling shame about certain things? Like you feel like you don't deserve anything good or um, a, a certain opportunity or et cetera. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of like looking deep into my memories here of the past when, um, you know, I felt these experiences of, of depression and and whatnot. I'm I'm mainly talking about when I was really uh, younger, when I was in high school, kind of the things that I I troubled with as a kid, and uh, you know, that's that's kind of um, really kind of what a what what the pinprick is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised. A lot of things actually come from our childhood because at that time we decided that we're going to be a certain way. And that's kind of how we become as a person, as an adult. So what I um, suggest here is that I can take you through the breathing exercise. I will say a statement. And all you have, once I finish the statement, you just breathe in and then breathe out that's all you're doing. So that's try to unblock you with that shame that you're feeling deep down inside because I think that can be holding you back from um, a lot of things. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So I remove all emotional blocks with shame. And you can breathe in, breathe out as long as you need. I remove all emotional blocks having to do with shame. Yeah, you don't need to repeat it. You just, uh, after I say it, you, all you have to do is breathe in and breathe out and let me know when you're done. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I have another one for you. I release all emotional blocks with, I don't deserve it. 